Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 28. Now kind of following on from the work we've been doing on straight lines, this week we're going to take a look at how you might introduce scatter diagrams to pupils using autograph. Now I'm just in standard mode, I haven't done anything yet, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover down to the bottom, right click and get rid of my key. And next I'm going to sort my axes out. Now we've chatted about this in an earlier video, so just hover up to the top, edit axes, and I'm going to change it so it goes from 0 to let's say 10 on the Y, a similar thing on the X, 0 to 10. And I'm going to get rid of these little ticks. This is where Autograph tries to take control. I'm going to take back a bit of control myself and I'm going to change them both to all the ones. Click OK and there's a lovely set of axes. Now I need some data. Now there's lots of different ways of doing this. You can actually enter an XY data set there, either just typing in manually or pasting from Excel like we've chatted about. Um, you can enter specific coordinates, but what I'm going to do just to save time is I'm just going to pop a load of points on there. Now I'm in grid snap settings of 1, so it's only going to, autographs are only going to let me uh, put on integer values, but that's okay. So I'm just going to pop a few points on, scatter them around, that looks good to me. Now, if I was introducing students to scatter diagrams, I'm going to have to go uh, down the road of chatting about the line of best fit. Now, if I wanted to get students up to the front to draw this line of best fit, one option would be to use the scribble tool. So I could click on that and get them to draw it. And that works quite nicely. Um, alternatively, what about this for a technique? So I'm going to just select this, uh, the scribble and just delete. And we've done something similar to this in the past. I'm just going to pop a couple of dots down here, a couple of points. And I'm going to just drag around these points so they're both selected and nothing else is selected. Right click and click on line segment and I'm just going to change my snap settings to 0.1. And what I've got now is a tool where the students can come to the front and drag into position where they think the line of best fit can go. And we can have a few little arguments about that. And whenever they think they've got it in the right place, all you need to do then is drag around all your points. So I'm just using my left mouse key, drag around, they're all selected. And if I now right click, and I'll just do it a bit higher up here so you can see the full menu. And at the bottom there, I've got line of best fit. Click on it, and you'll see, oh, flipping echo, I was way off there. And we can talk about why I was way off. Um, so that's quite nice. I'll just uh, move this out of the way, because you can do a few things now. Now, whilst that line of best fit is drawn on, you can actually get the students to predict what's going to happen if I move some of these points around. So, for example, this point looks a little bit of an outlier. If I bring in a bit closer to the rest what happens to the line of best fit and likewise if I take this point and if I increase the x value but do not change the y value what effect is that going to have on the line of best fit and that works quite nicely and a final thing you can do with this um, is if I just do a pretty strong correlation so if I move my point so they're quite close to the line see the problem I found is that a lot of students think that the strength of com uh, correlation is something to do with the slope of the line, whereas we know it's all to do with how close the points are. So I can demonstrate this quite nicely. If I, uh, if I have a pretty strong correlation there, and I just move my red line so it marks out where that correlation was, I can then show the students that I can produce pretty much the same slope of line, but with quite a weak correlation. So if I just move a few points around. This worked well in dress rehearsals, but I bet it doesn't work so good now. If I move a few points, oh, this isn't looking too bad. I can actually produce a fairly, fairly similar sloping line. However, everyone will agree that that is a far weaker correlation. So I think that's quite a nice way of introducing scatter diagrams using autograph. Next week, we're going to look at making it a little bit more complicated and taking the next step forward to actually working out a least squares regression line. So there's something to look forward to. Anyway, hope all's well, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.